Hallelujah. God bless you all. I welcome you to Hallelujah Victory Hour. And I know yes, that God is going to visit you massively tonight in Jesus' name. Before we go on, I want us to pray. Let us invite the Holy Spirit into this meeting. We'll take a couple of prayers and go into praise. And of course, go into worship. Our Heavenly Father, we bless and we give glory to your name. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your divine provision. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have purposed to do in the life of your children this hour. We thank you for your tender mercy, your tender love. Lord, we rest in the assurance of faith that you are going to move massively and mightily here tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask that every situation that requires a second touch of the Almighty, Lord, you will touch them in Jesus' name. Whatever requires healing, Lord, you will heal in the name of Jesus. Every heart that requires transformation, a touch, something glorious, something new, that will make them know that Jesus is the living God. I ask, O oh Lord, by the mandate of heaven, Lord, you will do it tonight in the name of Jesus. I cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus, and I declare that by the reason of the anointing, something glorious something new is going to take place in jesus mighty name we pray praise the lord i'd encourage every one of us tonight to be positive be expectant and that god that we serve that does the miraculous that god will visit you tonight in the mighty name of jesus i want you to pick a song of your choice and begin to bless the name of the lord just worship him Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his provision. Thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he said to do. Thank him because the gates of hell will not prevail. Worship him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. He's better than the best. Bigger than the biggest. Stronger than the strongest. Mightier than the mightiest richer than the richest, the all-sufficient God, the God that knows no end, the one that does the miraculous, magnify his name. Thank him, ancient of days, prince of peace, Lord of all. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient, Ancient of days. Of as old as, as you were, as old as you are, you will never change, you will never change, ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are. As old as you are. You will change in shape of days as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. That is why you are called. Jehovah, that is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. 
That is why you are called Jehovah. Now begin to talk to him about your expectations here tonight. Talk to him on what you desire for him to do for you. Talk to him. You cannot come here and live the same way you came. Talk to the King of Kings. Talk to the Lord of Lords. Talk to him. Worship him. Talk to him whatsoever you want him to do. As we connect by faith here this night, as we connect by faith across the world, talk to him whatsoever you desire him to do for you. Just talk to him. 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 The Almighty God. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. He's the all-sufficient God. And he's here. He can hear you. Talk to him. The God of all flesh. With him, nothing is impossible. Whatever you want him to do here for you in this meeting, just talk to him. That God that watches over you. That God that knows the beginning and the end. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless and we give glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, as we go into worship, I ask, O oh Lord, that you will rent the heavens open and let your children be blessed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. All your children expect, Father, do the miraculous. Do beyond their expectation and let only your name be glorified. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. We'll be connecting with another country for worship and of course praise all the way from Canada. One of our sisters will be leading the worship and of course the praise. As we connect, please be blessed participate in the worship and praise and God bless you as you do so in Jesus name. Amen.
Worship the Lord, we give glory to God this hour in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Children of God, I want you to be ready to pray, be ready to pray and be ready to receive. But before we go ahead, let's take a look at the Bible. We'll take our reading, the first reading from the book of Psalm, Psalm 121. And we'll begin to read from verses 1 through 8. You can pick your Bible and join me as we read Psalm 121, verses 1 all the way to 8. And the Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow my foot to be moved. He who keeps me will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Verses 5 says, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Verses 7 says, The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. And verses 8, the, the final verse says, the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. Child of God, tonight, everybody must be ready to connect with God. 
In most cases, you hear people make this confession of the scripture. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. But in most cases, you find out that people believe in God, but they are not ready to cast all their total trust in him. People confess God, confess Jesus, but they do not put the totality of their trust in him. In most cases, they deem it fit to help themselves in order to sort certain things out. Permit me to share a little story before we forge ahead. This is the story of a certain widow. The husband late, but they have a son. This son is about um, 14, 15 years old. And um, unfortunately, the woman is very, very, uh, um, very skinny, but the son very hefty for that age. This boy always suffers a little issue that we call asthma, asthmatic attack. And there was this fateful day that the asthmatic attack was so severe. The mother was in confusion. She rushed to the neighbor's house. The neighbor was at home. Neighbor, please come forward. Come and help me. Let's pick my son. Let's take him to the hospital. The neighbor said to her, I'm a bit busy right now, but you can pick the car. But all you need to do is to buy some fuel into the car and take the child to the hospital. She burst out in tears. How can the neighbor ask her to go and buy fuel? knowing fully the state of things and knowing fully the condition of the son. She left the neighbor's flat in tears and she returned back to her flat. The boy size, the boy, the boy weights at least about um, almost four times the weight of the mother. So she kept on dragging this boy, dragging him, dragging him out of the house. The more she dragged him, the more she fell. In tears, she still dragged him to the roadside. Apparently, people were passing by. The house was close to the expressway. But nobody was ready to stop in order to assist her. She kept on pleading with people. They would zoom past to their cars. They would, nobody, people were just, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They, were left, they just left her there in that condition with the child. And the asthmatic attack for, on that child was so severe that that boy needed solution urgently. Nobody was stopping, but somehow across the express was this madman that had been observing all that was going on. The madman observed there was nobody coming forth and all of a sudden he rushed across the express. Every vehicle that was passing, everybody saw this madman. He was a registered full grade madman in that locality. And what they did was all the cars came to a halt. They allowed him to pass. Immediately he got there, the woman was scared. The how come a madman is coming to me in this condition? She wanted to run, but she remembered the sick boy. This madman looked at her and said something strange to her. Relax your mind. Everything is going to be all right. In other words, his sanity came forth in that condition. This woman had resolved that there was nobody to help her. But she looked alone unto God. I lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth seized the insanity of that man and made him to become sane for the purpose of delivering that boy. Within the twinkle of an eye, he picked this small boy and then he told the woman, everything will be all right. He rushed all the way to the hospital. A journey that would naturally take about 45 minutes that man received speed on his feet and he got to that hospital in less than 30 minutes. Of course, when a madman is carrying somebody rushing into hospital, everybody will become scared and it will, it will attract attention. 
The doctors were going on their round as, that, as at that time, and they saw this madman coming. Everybody knew that boy's case. And immediately when the madman came into the hospital, they brought out his stretcher. About one and a half hours later, the woman found her way to the hospital. And she was asking about the son. And they said to her, if your son had come in here 10 minutes later than the time that he came into the hospital, the boy would have died because the asthma was so terrible upon him. What am I trying to share with you this night? All help, no matter the help that we get from man, the biggest and the best help that we can ever get that adds no sorrow is the help that comes from God. I look onto the hills with my eyes lifted up. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Tonight, I pray for you, even as I also pray for myself. Whatever help that you require God to visit you with, heaven will meet you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare heaven will meet you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the case may be, possibly you expect God to do something for you, which you have been crying unto him for many, many years and it appears as if God is not answering. I pray for you by the reason of this message tonight. Heaven will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty expects you and I to be dependent solely on him. Yes, we could get help from a couple of people, but remember it is also God that embraces such people to be able to bring forth help. But the help that God gives is the help that stands the test of time. Most people have a, a, a form of fear, inability to put their trust totally in God. When you fly on an aircraft, you discover that you can't see your front. You can only look through the side windows. All you do is you put your faith and your trust, you believe that the pilot knows what he's doing and that the engines are working appropriately. God expects of us too to put our faith totally in him when it comes to our lives and our destinies. There are a couple of things I want you to mark tonight. And those things that I mentioned, make sure they remain in your spirit every time. God is never too early. God is never too late. Number one thing that I want you to know before we move to the realm of prayer, God is ever conscious. That means he's always, he's always aware of your needs and is aware of my needs. God is ever faithful and he can never ever disappoint what he has purposed to appoint. He knows what you need. He knows what I need. He knows the challenges that we face. He's everywhere and he sees all things. So if you will, you could also choose to put a title to this little exhortation before we go to prayer. I call it depending on God and not man. Depending on God and not man. Child of God, God is concerned about every one of us. Everything that happens, there's nothing that goes on that God doesn't know about. That scenario in you that is bringing laughter, mockery against you, God knows about it. But oftentimes, I pity those who mock children of God because they are not actually mocking the children of God. They are actually mocking God himself. And you can't mock God and go scot-free. So child of God, God is concerned about everything. Is, conduct, is concerned about whatever goes on in you, around you. In the book of First Peter, First Peter chapter 5 and verses 7, Bible says, cast all your cares, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. In other words, all your anxiety, all those things that are making you 
going to um, uh, sporadic uh, sessions of, 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 of issues of, of, of um, how do I put it? Sporadic sessions of unbelief, of faithlessness, of doubt. All those things that want to make you compromise. God is concerned about you. And there's really nothing that has happened or is happening that God does not know about. There are certain things God may permit for a purpose. And the purpose may be just for him to glorify his name. Are you bothered about your tomorrow? Let today take care of itself. For God makes me understand that our tomorrow will be better than our today. I have had reason to interact with people and some will say, Pastor, I don't even know what tomorrow will look like. I don't know where the next meal will come from. I don't know where the next job will come from. I don't know where the school fees, I'll raise school fees to pay for my children. I don't know where it's going to come from. Some houses are on mortgage, some houses are on foreclosure. Different scenarios with different people. But one thing is certain, whatever you think is a border, God knows about it and we settle your case in Jesus name. Are you scared about what life holds in stock for you? Are you afraid of settling down? Is it that every man that comes your way, you have a doubt, you're afraid? Can it, be, can it be the right person? Is it the wrong person? Can I put my life, can I trust everything into him? Are you that kind of person? Remember, if you look up to God, your help comes from above, from him and from him alone. There's nothing you take to him that he will not solve. If you're following me, shout a big hallelujah. Are you burdened by the bills threatening your income? Some have bills that are almost 10 times more than the income that they get. Are you saddled with spiritual attacks? Particularly those that are of African descent, that is one aspect that must never be taken with levity. Because whether you like it or not, there are issues for the black race and it is by prayer and of course by hard work we overcome that. So are you saddled with spiritual attacks? Does it look as if the floodgates of hell are unleashed against you? Were you abandoned by a loved one? Were you deserted at the altar? Is your situation looking so embarrassing and the problems are insurmountable as if everything is just falling like pack of cards? You can't make way, you can't make sense out of situations around you. Is your case such that the more you pray, the less you understand? Is there any confusion in you that am I really serving God or am I actually serving the devil? Child of God, no matter what the matter may look like, I want you to register this in your spirit tonight. You matter most before God. And God will never allow his investment in your life to be rubbished. Even if it appears as if God is delaying, it is only for a bit. For God has the final say and he will not allow your destiny to be wasted in Jesus' name. Understand this, child of God. God Almighty is very consistent. He is more stable than the northern star. Is the God that everywhere he appears, his consistency is sown, is seen. Yesterday, today, forever, he will remain consistent. When we talk about the consistency of God, it implies the fidelity and, of course, the faithfulness of God Almighty. Even in our own unfaithfulness, God is faithful and God is ever sure. The consistency of God for us is such that no matter what is threatening us, we have that assurance of faith that there's a rock behind us, the rock that can never fail. Child of God, I want you to put this in your mind today. When you look up to God for visitation, whatsoever the case may be, God is consistent 
And another point, God is all capable. What do I mean? That God is capable. God is capable of bringing back everything that was devoured. God is capable of returning the laughter of yesterday with a new wine, with a new testimony to make your new laughter better than the previous one. Bible calls it the former and the latter rain. God will make it happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, understand this before we go to the realm of prayer. God Almighty is capable of reviving that career that you feel is lost. That career, I'm talking to somebody now, that career that you feel is lost, the career that you feel has been buried, sealed, cannot be exhumed. God is in the business of making it happen. Remember, this same God that we are talking about, suspended the son for him to give victory to his children. This same God that we are talking about answered the prayer of his children in the days of old. And that same God is surely going to answer your prayers here tonight or wherever you are across the world. Maybe it is daytime or evening. He's going to answer you in Jesus' name. When others have written you off, <clears throat> God rewrites your history. When others have written you off, God rewrites your history. Ephesians chapter 3 and verses 20. Ephesians 3 and verses 20 says, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Whatever we ask, he will do beyond that. Whatever we can think, phantom in our mind, whatever we can um, imagine, whatever we can think about, those things that are good, God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above them all. That means God is not limited by our mentality. God is not limited by our, our orientation. God is not limited by our physical, our present condition. He goes ahead to make what he desires to happen for us happen. That means you may ask God for just one thing and God will give you two. Remember Solomon asked for one thing and God gave him an extra bonus. So child of God, the essence of all this is for you to wake up and for your, way, or for your faith to well up. Faith is the key to getting all that you need. I oftentimes tell people that faith is the spiritual currency we use in purchasing anything we need in the spirit realm. Faith is the spiritual currency we use in purchasing anything we need in the spirit realm. And once you are able to have that faith, a dogged faith, an unflinching faith, and you look up to God, I look up to God, to the hills, where does my help come from? My help comes from above. Once we look above that it is only God, then God is bound to act on our behalf. Child of God, I need you to put your totality of trust in God. No matter what the infirmity may look like, no matter what the rejections may look like, no matter what the disappointments may be like, no matter how much you have been praying, you have been praying and it appears as if the heavens are sealed. The heavens are not sealed. God is observing. God knows the best time to answer that prayer so that the totality of your blessings will be complete. I pray for somebody whose amen will be the loudest here tonight. The glory of God will surely arise and visit you with your miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, be you ever open, be open and receptive to receive from God. Because that God is never late, that God is never early. A certain man in the Bible came across Jesus Christ. 
a leper. But before coming to Jesus in Israel, lepers are not allowed to come into the city. Lepers stay outside the city gates. But I, the Bible does not tell us how this leper was able to breach that protocol and get into where Jesus Christ was ministering and wriggled himself to the front of Jesus Christ and said to Jesus Christ, if you are willing, I know you can heal me. Normally, leprous people are not touched. But the Bible makes us understand that Jesus stretched forth his hand and touched the man and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. Tonight, Jesus is faithful and is waiting for you and I to engage in our petition before him. He's willing to touch you. He's willing to touch me. He's willing to touch anyone who calls upon his name. For Bible says, whosoever that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The salvation for healing, salvation for restoration, salvation for, for returning all those things the Vorad has taken in the past. Tonight, I want you to depend on God and not man. You must be able to say, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let my foot to sleep. He who watches over me will not slumber. You must be able to confess it with all audacity. Your spirit, your soul, and body must be in agreement, saying, whether I like it or not, I must get my testimony, I must get my blessings from God. Tonight, I invite you, wherever you are connecting from across the world, I want you to just bow down your heads where you are and begin to talk to Jesus, that Lord, I have heard your word. I want to depend solely on you. I depend solely on you to bring healing to me, to bring restoration to me. I depend solely on you, Lord. Visit me. Talk to him. I have, I am dying, O oh Lord. I have heard thy voice and it all thy love to me. Talk to him. But I long to rise in the arms of fate and be closer, drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the fount where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Talk to him, 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 whatever the case may be. Is it conflicts in marriage? Is it division in family? Is it sickness? Is it the fruit of the womb? Is your health defying medication? Are your children becoming like vagrants instead of being real children that God has given you for them to be? Are the children giving you hypertension? Talk to him. I depend on you, God. I depend on only you. And I know your son, Jesus Christ, died for me to bring healing, to bring restoration, to bring reconciliation. Talk to him, Father, do something new in my life. Talk to him. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. 
something new in my life, oh Lord. I cannot do without you, cannot do without you, cannot do without you, oh Lord. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord. Unto thee, O oh Lord, talk to him. Do I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O oh Lord. Do I lift up my soul, oh my God? I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Father, I bring your sons and your daughters before you. Distance is never a barrier to the move of the power of the Holy Spirit. I ask, O oh Lord, that your mighty power will surge through the air, surge through the spirit realm, surge through every life that is connected for this broadcast, surge through every home, every family that is represented. Everyone that seeks to connect, Father, let your power search through them and do the miraculous. Lord, as we engage in prayer tonight, I declare that the grace for healing will be made manifest. Healing will take place in the name of Jesus. Heaven will touch lives. Whoever has been written off, your history will be rewritten for you to be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stagnancy in career, heaven will turn things around in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hindrance and limitation, God will do the miraculous tonight in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is requiring healing, Whosoever is requiring a marital breakthrough, whosoever that is connecting that requires something unique that appears difficult before man, I pray for you tonight as we go to the realm of prayer. God will do it for you and it will become a living proof testimony. The gates of hell will not prevail in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now get ready. Your prayer is straight and simple. We have quite a number of prayers tonight, but as we release such prayers by the help of the Holy Spirit, pick them up and begin to do justice there. The way I declare it, you begin to take it and issue it with what I call a rapid fire. Praise the Lord. You will declare this very loud and very clear. Say, the heavens of my glory, open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. The heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open Open, open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory, let it open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens of my glory open up in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I need you to increase the tempo now. And the next prayer, you will declare it very loud 
Whatever is happening around you, don't bother. Make sure you key into that prayer and see the glory of God visit you in the name of Jesus. Say, every agenda of darkness to swallow my destiny backfire in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness to swallow my destiny backfire, 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 backfire. Backfire. Every agenda of darkness to swallow my destiny. Backfire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Agenda of darkness to swallow my destiny. Backfire. 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 Every agenda of darkness to swallow my destiny. Backfire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The next prayer. Do more justice to it and see God visit you in the name of Jesus. Say, the power of devourers, the power of devourers assigned to devour good things in my life be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. The power of devourers assigned to consume good things in my life be consumed by the power of the Holy Spirit and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The power of devourers assigned to consume good things in my life be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. The power of devourers assigned to destroy good things in my life be consumed by the Holy Spirit and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed, 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 be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus command of them to be destroyed, they destroyed, devourers assigned against you, assigned against good things in your life, command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Bartimaeus prayed a very serious prayer. And that prayer, when he prayed this, his voice was louder than the thousands of people that were around that were trying to hinder him from his miracles. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. You are going to turn that prayer into rapid fire and you will declare it like this. Say, Jesus, son of the living God, have mercy on me. Visit my situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, son of the living God, have mercy on me. Visit my situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit my situation. Visit my situation. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Visit my situation tonight. Visit my situation. 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 Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Visit my situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Visit my situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit my situation. Visit my situation. Visit my situation. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Visit my situation. Visit my situation. Visit my situation. Jesus, son of the living God, have mercy on me. Visit my situation. Jesus, son of the living God, have mercy. Visit my situation. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This next prayer is particularly for women. Women pray this more than the way the men will pray it. You will declare this. Every situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Every situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Every situation that is putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced forever. Be silenced forever. Be silenced forever. Every situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced forever. Be silenced forever. Be silenced forever. Any situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced forever. In the name of Jesus. Any situation putting sorrow and tears in my life. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced, be silenced, be silenced forever in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Can your amen be a very loud enough one? Amen. 
The next prayer which I want you to pray, please continue to pray it. Expect your physical manifestation of this miracle in Jesus' name. You will pray for children. And please, we need you to pray for them well. We we'll pray for children and you will declare this prayer over children. Declare this loud and very clear. You can pray for your children and also you can stand in the gap for others too. Say, I will not weep. I will not sorrow over my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not weep. I will not sorrow over my children in the name of Jesus. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. In the name of Jesus, I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. I will not weep. I will not be in sorrow over my children. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You will declare this one again and make it louder than the previous prayer. Say this loud. Say, blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence the atrocities of darkness in my life and in my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, if you are here and you have been laboring like elephant and it appears as if you are eating like an ant, you will declare this next prayer and make it very loud and make it very, very clear. Say, I refuse to label like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a prayer. It is a prayer. I refuse to label like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to label like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to labor like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to labor like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the name of Jesus. I refuse to labor like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to labor like an elephant and end up eating like an ant in Jesus' mighty name we pray. These next two prayers are for those looking unto God for healing. Make sure you pray it, whether you need it or you don't need it, or you can also stand in the gap for somebody with that prayer in the name of Jesus. You will declare this and say it very loud and say it very clear. Say, Jehovah Rapha, God of healing, visit my body in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Declare it. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing, visit my body. Whatever the case may be that you are looking onto him for a visitation, say it. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Visit my body, declare it. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. Visit my body in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. Visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. Visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Do something exceptional, something mighty. Jehovah Rapha, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. Visit my body, Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. Visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. Visit my body, my leprakata santa liboyande libo sutoya, libo shketese kapia libra andolia. Jehovah Rapha, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body with your healing power. Jehovah Rapha, visit my body, visit my body, visit my body. In Jesus' name, we are praying. For those that are connecting and were diagnosed for depression or anything related, this next prayer is for you. I don't know why, but we are going to pray it. And that prayer is simple. Let the blood of Jesus pass through my head. Let the blood of Jesus Pass through my head. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my head. Pass through my head. Wash my head clean in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my head. Wash my head clean in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my head and wash my head clean in the name of Jesus. Declare it. Declare it. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my head. Wash my head clean. Whether you are faced with such case or not. When the blood of Jesus passes through your head and washes your head clean, your mentality will be sharp, receptive, and your glory will begin to shine. Blood of Jesus, pass through my head, wash my head clean in the name of Jesus. Pass through my head, wash my head clean. Blood of Jesus, pass through my head, wash my head, wash my head, wash my head clean. In Jesus' name, it is done. Now declare this on the behalf of your life and your family. Say, glory of the living God, overshadow my family. Glory of in the, the mighty name of Jesus. Glory of the living God, overshadow my family. Declare it. Glory of the living God, overshadow, overshadow, overshadow my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the glory of the living God overshadow my family. In the name of Jesus. Glory of the living God, overshadow my family. Glory of the living God, overshadow my family. Glory of the living God, overshadow my family. Overshadow my family, overshadow my family, overshadow my family, overshadow my family, overshadow my family. Glory of the living God, overshadow my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. There are category of persons here that we are going to call this next prayer, and they should do justice to it. They have stayed in the valley for too long. What should have been accomplished 20 years ago? Are still being struggled to be accomplished now. Time waits for nobody. But when God is in your race, time can be suspended to bring back the glory that was lost. And heaven will do it for you in Jesus' name. You will declare this. Amen. Say every lost ground. I recover every back. lost ground in the mighty name of I Jesus. Recover back. Every lost ground, I recover them back. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every lost ground, I recover them back. I recover them back. Every lost ground, I recover back. I recover back. I recover back. I recover back. I recover back every lost ground. Every lost ground, I recover back. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every ground that I had lost, good things I had lost in the past, I recover back. I recover back. I recover back. I recover back every lost ground. I recover back in the name of Jesus. I recover back. I recover back. I recover back. 
In Jesus' name, we are praying. The Bible talks about one that shuts the door that no one can open. That same one that is the King of kings and the Lord of lords opens door that no one can shut. You will declare this on your behalf and that of your family. Say great and effectual doors of blessings. Open unto me. Great and effectual doors, great of, and effectual blessings. doors of blessings. Open unto me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and effectual doors of blessings. Open unto me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and effectual doors of blessings. Open unto me, open unto my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and effectual doors of blessings. Laughter, testimonies, increase, enlargement of course. Open unto me and members of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open unto me, open unto my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and effectual doors of blessings, testimonies, enlargement of course. Open unto me and my family. In Jesus' name we are praying. There are some that are in our midst who have challenges with their dream life. Their dream life appeared to be battered. For some, they are being molested by spirit husband, spirit wife. For some, the challenge is they are being spoon fed in their dreams. For some, they wake up in the morning, the entire body structure is in pain as if they were flogged over the night. And there are some, there is practically no day that they do not see marks as if something tore their body in the course of their sleeping and waking up. This prayer is for those category of people. Whatever the case may be, let the power in the name of Jesus avail for you and deliver to the uttermost in the mighty name of Jesus. You will declare this. Amen. And when you declare it, you shout it very loud. Say, fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire deliver of the Holy me Spirit. from evils that take place at the hour of the night that is fashioned against my life. Power of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Deliver me from atrocities that take place at the odd hours of the night that are fashioned against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit, deliver me from atrocities of darkness that take place at all hours of the night, that seek to torment me, that seek to destroy me, that seek to bury my glory. Father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Fire of the Holy Spirit, deliver me from them in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit, deliver me from them in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit, deliver me from them. Deliver me from them. Deliver me from them. Deliver me from them all. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from them all. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me from them all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me from them all. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Two more prayers before we move to the next thing. And that is simple. We will declare this. Say, I possess my possessions. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possession. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, you will declare this. I will not be a spectator. I will not be a spectator while others are making it in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be a spectator while others are making it in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be a spectator while others are making it in life. I will make it in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be a spectator 
while others are making it in life in the name of Jesus. I will not be a spectator while others are making it in life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will make it in the name of Jesus. I will not be a spectator while others are making it in life in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, whatever you are doing, I want you to stretch forth your hand. Just stretch forth your hand and let your amen be very, very, very loud. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, Lord, by the reason of the anointing, I speak into the life of your children. For everyone that is connected with this broadcast, let the power of the Holy Spirit overshadow them in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your life that good prayers will work for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is on assignment to cut you down, whatever is on assignment to bring sorrow into your home, whatever wants to bury the glory of your children, whatever has vowed that nothing good will manifest in your life, I command, let such things be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Let such things go into disappointment in the name of Jesus. Let such things be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak into your health, receive revival, receive fresh fire, receive restoration, receive the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare over your life, you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Every battle that has vowed to swallow you, they will swallow the ascender in the name of Jesus. Any battle that contested against the destiny of your father, battles that may have contested against the destiny of your mother and have vowed to contest against your destiny to bring reproach, tears and calamity in your life, I declare let the battle swallow the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God that cannot be insulted by any power, let that mercy overshadow you in the name of Jesus. I speak life into your situation. I speak testimony into your situation. I speak breakthrough into your situation. You will sing your song and you will dance your dance. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. And I declare, if by chance you are here tonight and you have a faith material with you, or you are using something as, if, as a faith substance to connect for something glorious in your life. I declare by the reason, receive your solution in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. Receive your laughter in the name of Jesus. Receive your restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive that which no man can do but only God can do, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus and I declare over your life that the gates of hell will not prevail. It is settled, it is settled, and it is settled in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now pick a song of choice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Just begin to bless him. Let your voice be loud, let your voice be loud. Just bless him. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Bless him, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name. Thank him, thank him for what he has done. Thank him. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. All glory, all glory must be to the Lord. Hallelujah for he is worthy of praise. No man on it should be glory to himself. All the glory we must be to the Lord, unto the Lord, 
be the glory great things he has done unto the lord be the glory great things he has done unto jesus be the glory great things he has done unto the lord be the glory great things he has done great things he has done greater things he will do unto the lord be the glory. great things he has done amen we bless God for your life. We thank you for connecting with us tonight. We thank you for keeping faith with Hallelujah Every Day. Hallelujah Every Day podcast started precisely one year ago. And to the glory of God, to the glory of God and not any man, all glory belongs to God. Hallelujah Every Day has well over 20,000 listeners every day. And we thank you for connecting. There are also some that are connecting on Facebook, some are connecting on Zoom. We thank God for your life, and we know that all that you desire, God will make it happen for you in Jesus' name. Every time we make available our lines for the people to be able to connect, counseling, and of course, we're always there to join you by faith in prayer. We have a, a father who is the Holy Spirit that is ever faithful to honor and to answer most of our requests that we bring forward before him and he has never failed, and over your life, over your petition, he will never fail in Jesus' name. Okay. Hallelujah Every Day depends solely on subscribers to be able to rebroadcast the messages across the world. Um, we, we give glory to God, quite a number in, in the United States, in Europe, and in other parts of the world. So many, many countries that are the last count from the podcasts which we get from um, our online um, fact check, we have well over 18 different countries where Hallelujah Every Day is being spread every day. So we encourage you to please keep on supporting us. Whatever you feel you can do to support the propagation of this gospel, we welcome it. And most especially, put us in prayer that God will always bring about revelations for every day. The Hallelujah Every Day podcast is strictly about Jesus Christ. It is not about any other thing but only Jesus Christ. And when Jesus is put at the center stage, there is bound to be solution to matters as they come forward. We bless God once again for your life. I thank you so much for the privilege to minister to you and for sparing your time in your busy schedule to be part of this Zoom meeting. For those connecting also on Facebook, God bless you. Thank you for your time. And I know that God is going to continually do the miraculous in your life. For you, if you have other um, requests, aside from those that have been touched here tonight, you could connect with us on WhatsApp. You could connect with us on, um, on Facebook. The lines for WhatsApp is simple. Uh, plus 234-806-701-3664. And plus 234-802. 3319436. Please, anyone calling you on behalf of Hallelujah Every Day for you to make deposits or money available, uh, they are, we have nothing to do with that. If anybody wants to give or to bless the purpose of the podcast, they get in touch with Pastor Lake directly, but not through a medium. If anybody is doing that, we don't know about it, and we do not permit people to do that. It's not about money. It's about bringing people to leverage on the things of God and making God and, and making it work for them in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as we're bringing the podcast to a, to, to a close tonight. I also crave for your prayer. Please remember us. Remember and rem remember us in your prayer time that God will continue to help us that we may bring out fresh revelations on daily basis and for the name of Jesus alone to be glorified. Thank you so much for connecting with us tonight. Before you go, I want us to, I just want to say, um, God bless you. 
thank you so much. We value you. You are what I call inestimable. Um, you, are, you are an inestimable subscriber and you give us a lot of joy when we see you communicate with us every day. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. Shall we please share the grace in fellowship? And those who still want to wait behind, maybe possibly they want to have a chat with pastor or ask questions, they can feel free to wait behind. But let's, let's share the grace now in fellowship. Let us go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before we shout a single amen or hallelujah, we thank everyone for connecting. We also thank those behind the stage to make this thing work uh, seamlessly. Those in the technical team. And of course, our sister all the way from Canada, Ife Adetoyi, that ministered to us in the worship and, um, and in the praise earlier on. Thank you for your service to Hallelujah Every Day. She has been of tremendous, tremendous impute. And we have also um, several others. I'll not mention their names. Possibly they don't want me to call them out. We thank you, every one of you for all that you have been doing in America, in the UK, even um, all the way to uh, Malaysia. We thank every one of you also. Also China, thank you for all what you have been doing. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we all lift up our voice and just shout a victory shout of hallelujah? Today, of course, you know, is the birthday of hallelujah every day. A single shout of hallelujah will, will be enough. Just shout it and let us go. One, two, three, let's go. Ha! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Hallelujah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good Jesus. night. Yeah. Have a blessed night, sir. Thank Amen. you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, my God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.